Hello, good evening. A rally has been held in Birmingham this afternoon in support of the families of the victims of the Birmingham pub bombings. It comes as their request for legal aid to represent themselves at inquests into the deaths were rejected for a sixth time. Meanwhile, another rally was also held in the city protesting against violence and extremism. West Midlands police say there were no arrests. Kevin Reid reports. Over 2,000 football fans from the Democratic Football Lads Alliance across the country gathered with strong contingents from Aston Villa, Birmingham City and West Brom. They came to support the Justice for the 21 campaign, which is fighting to find those responsible for the Birmingham pub bombings nearly 44 years ago. It's as if their lives never mattered. Well, guess what? They matter to us. And there were also speakers representing the fans. I'm a Villa fan. He's a Blues fan. Football rivalry never came into the Justice for the 21 campaign. It was just about people like you sticking up from people like in our community who were in trouble. With the speeches now concluded, the protest group are making their way to St Philip's Cathedral to lay a wreath at the pub bombings memorial. It was all happening on a day when the Justice for 21 campaign had a sixth attempt for legal aid so they can be properly represented at forthcoming inquests, refused. The government aren't listening. West Midlands police are fighting us. The Home Office are fighting us. But it's with these fantastic people that we will be allowed to finally get what our loved ones have never had. Meanwhile, across the city, another march took place. This time, the Football Lads Alliance were demonstrating against recent events in Telford. In response, Birmingham City Council has issued a cross-party statement saying there's no place in the city for hatred or intolerance. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. A second man has appeared.